Hi there, it's Laurel, and I'm here today with a very special video because I am a teacher over at Creativity Grows Here for their upcoming class that's starting. It's called In the Mood, and it features a bunch of mood boards, and there are a ton of projects, a ton of videos, a ton of teachers, and a ton of inspiration. And today we have a bonus mood board to kind of get your creativity jump started. Maybe you'll take a look at the class and, and take it. It's just, I've seen all the projects, I've seen the videos, I've just been blown away by what everyone's created. So I'm gonna make this card in the video today inspired by the mood board. And I'm going to be starting off with some distress inks. I'm going to do some very simple watercoloring using the distress inks. So I'm grabbing the minis. I have the most of the full-size pads and I have all of the mini pads and I love the minis. They are great for storage and it's also great because you buy them in sets of four. So now I'm, I have all of the colors that I didn't have in the full sets. So, you know, full, mini, whatever size pad you have doesn't really matter, but I'm using the Distress Inks because I'm going to be combining it with water. So you're going to want to use Distress Inks for this particular technique. Now, I was inspired by all the colors of that of that mood board, the blues and the purples and kind of the teals. So that's, of course, why I'm choosing these three colors to work with for the Distress Inks. That's Peacock Feathers, Seedless Preserves, and I think it's Chip Sapphires, that darker blue there. And what I've done is gone ahead and smushed it I love saying smushed, smush, smush, smush. Smushed it down onto my craft sheet that I'm working off of. If you don't have a craft sheet, an acrylic block, anything with a slick surface will work. And I've squirted that with some regular water. You can also do something like a, a perfect pearls mix or something if you want some of that added shine. But I just went with regular water here. And I am just dipping my cardstock. That is watercolored cardstock. I think that you need to use watercolored cardstock with this technique because we're adding so much water. You need a cardstock that's going to be able to handle it. And I am just kind of dumping, smushing, tapping, whatever you want to call it, into the colors. And look at the pretty colors that it's already being formed there. Isn't that pretty? You, you just keep kind of pushing it and smushing it into the color until you get the look that you are satisfied with. I'm going to keep going. I want to make sure that I'm getting all of those colors. I think that Peacock Feathers, Seedless Preserves, and that Chip Sapphire, that is a beautiful color combination that I've never tried before. I don't really reach for my Chip Sapphire too often, but that mood board inspired me to, to grab that color and go for it, and I'm so glad that it did because, you know, like I said, I've not really reached for it too much. So I'm just going in and I'm just continuing to smush my my card until I get the look that I want. Sometimes I'm doing little swirls. There is absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. Just, you know, continue to to dip your paper into the ink until you get the look that you want. So I'm satisfied with how it looks. So I went ahead and wiped off my work surface there. And then I'm just zapping it with my heat gun. You can also let it dry naturally as well. Sometimes you can take that heat gun and push the water, the, you know, the watercolor around on your paper as well too. So now I've got some regular water here in a, in a mason jar, an old mason jar and a couple of paintbrushes. And I'm taking a paintbrush and I'm absorbing a bunch of water onto that paintbrush and I am flicking because these are distress inks which are formulated to react with water. As soon as that water comes in contact with those distress inks, it's already reacting. You can see the water splotch is already bubbling up because of that reaction with the distress inks. So I'm going to hold it up here and, and kind of give you a closer look there. But you can see all those waters. You can actually see the puddles kind of moving about and it's moving the ink around. It's just so cool. So I'm having a little fun with this, kind of swirling it around. And then I'm going to let it sit there for just a few minutes. And then I'm going to take a cloth and just dab that water away. And look at that watercolor look that you get from that background. That's just such a pretty background. There's really nothing else you have to add to it. I just think this background is stunning. So I'm going to take a large uh, stamp set here that I got. It's by Catherine Scanlon. I'm not familiar with her, but I saw this stamp over at the Ellen Hudson store and I picked it up because I'm just completely obsessed with anything coffee related. And this little stack of coffee cups, they could even be teacups, um, just intrigued me. And I like that it's a really big image, so it'll be a big focal point for your card here. So I'm inking it up with some Sukaneko Onyx Black Pigment Ink. And I'm just going to use a stamping press here, and I'm going to stamp that down. Now, I'm using a pigment ink on purpose because I'm going to go ahead and heat set this image because I really want those black lines, outlines of this image to just jump off the page. And when you use a pigment ink, it, the pigment ink stays wet longer. So I'm going to sprinkle up here some clear embossing powder right over my image. You can see how it's completely sticking. Now, my distress inks were completely and totally dry, 
if your distressings weren't dry, your embossing powder would stick to the distressing. So another option here is to go ahead and rub your surface, prep your surface with an anti-static tool like an embossing buddy or uh, a dryer sheet or even some baby powder just to make sure that your embossing powder is sticking to where you want it to stick. But I didn't have any problems because my paper had dried already. But just in case you uh, are moving along making this card, I didn't want that to happen to you. So I'm going ahead, you can see that it's melting because the color is just deepening and it gives you this great black, crisp, shiny image with a teeny tiny bit of dimension because we went ahead and heat embossed that. So isn't that pretty? And I love it with that watercolored background uh, in the background there behind the cups and everything. I just think it's so pretty. So now I'm going to take my watercolored panel. This is my adhesive gun that I'm using is the Glue Glider Pro. Any kind of adhesive that you use, wet, dry, whatever works. But I am putting on extra adhesive. Because we added so much water to this cardstock, the cardstock did warp a little bit. So I just wanted to make sure to add a lot of adhesive. You could also pop this up with some foam dimension if you want. The card base is a four and a quarter by five and a half top folding card. So I'm adhering my card down flush to the right hand side so I have a little bit of that black border shining through. The watercolored panel that we're working off of, off of was four by five and a half. So I've got that nice quarter inch border there of the black card base shining through. And that completes the card for today. So I hope you'll check out the class over at Creativity Grows here. It's called In the Mood and I think that you're going to love it. Thanks for watching.